Hey guys, it's Ruri, and today I've got the next episode of the Kerbal Space Program Hardcore series. Now I'm back to the basics a little bit with video editing, um, and that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm switching between um, the people who monetize my videos, so I'm going from Zoom in TV to hopefully maybe Curse, which are a slightly sort of higher up network. They give you a higher percentage of the revenue they earn from the ads, and they have better ads as well, so you should earn a bit more in that sense. They do have higher entry requirements, which I'm now met. Um, but yeah, that, that switch is happening at the moment, so I don't want to use any music or anything, um, you know, just in case, basically. Um, so for a little period of time, I'm going to go back to simpler edits, which is fine. Um, and yeah, that's what's happening now. So anyway, you can see I built a new ship, and this ship is actually designed, as you can see, it has two crew pods to take a Kerbal up into space, but to also take an extra Kerbal back down. And that's because I took out a contract to um, to rescue a Kerbal from low Kerbin orbit. So we were very tight on money for this. If I'd failed this, it could have been, I don't want to say the end of the career, but it would have been pretty close. So uh, yeah, we had to do this pretty much perfectly, quite a high pressure situation. While it's not something that's incredibly difficult to do, um, you know, I was rendezvousing with a Kerbal in Kerbin orbit. So you saw that I actually time warped, um, you know, round and let him sort of get close to us. That's to save on fuel, basically. Because I wasn't really sure whether we'd have enough, but we do. I mean, I thought we would, but I wasn't like 100% sure. Better safe than sorry, I guess. And anyway, you can see now we've switched to four times time warp. So after a suggestion I had to, you know, show the launch and any interesting bits, you know, the main bits of the video in a normal speed, and then do the rest in fast forwarded speed, that's what I've done. So anyway, we're making our ascent, and it wasn't terribly efficient because I was kind of trying to set it up so we got a close encounter to start off with with our target. Um, again, just to save on fuel in the long run. So that's what I was doing here. You can see I was building up that um, that trajectory and getting a good intersect. And then at that intersect, I did my best jo job at um, trying to actually like uh, synchronize speeds or synchronize velocities with the target. And I maybe started this a little bit late, um, but yeah, we we're probably going to have to do another pass anyway, so it's not too big a deal really. So you know, he goes past a little bit, um, so I undershoot I guess a bit with my burn but it's okay we're only a few kilometers away about 10 kilometers away so all I have to do is go to one of the close intercepts then burn a bit to kind of adjust it and I do that a couple of times to get it really really close because um, when it's a Kerbal that you're moving around I don't know I didn't know exactly how much pack fuel he had but I wanted to get us within you know like meters rather than a kilometer away um, first time round uh, so, you know, I wanted to get to like a kilometer away and then just be able to burn very, very close um, to move straight towards it. So that's what I did. And uh, after a bit of adjusting, we get one with a very, very low intersect sort of distance. There we go. So then um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. So it's this one we come to. And then we just have to actually burn to, you know, get our speed synchronized and then burn up towards the Kerbal, which um, was about a kilometer away, I think, uh, when we actually finished that. So that was pretty successful, really. And uh, then we just have to time warp a little bit and slow ourselves back down again. And then just so you know, actually, once you're close to a Kerbal like this, you can just uh, switch with the square bracket keys to go switch over to the Kerbal once you're this close. Like you can switch over to an asteroid once you've like attached to it or whatever, or once you're close enough to it, I can't remember exactly how it works. Um, but yeah, you can do that. And then all you have to do is, um, you know, obviously put the Kerbal in one of your command pods. And I did also do a science report here. I checked that it had completed the contract, which it had. And uh, yep, done the science report. So that's all good. Now this is where I'm starting to think maybe it'd be a good idea to use like an SSD or something. But the annoying thing at the moment is that we don't have really the parts to do it. So it's not really going to work. Um, so yeah, you know, it's not the uh, easiest thing to do. Like, and it, while it would be cool at this point in the career to build like an SSD or something to make, you know, much more money efficient 
uh, ventures into space it's not going to happen just because we don't have the parts there so career mode doesn't really work in a way that uh, lets that happen but anyway after a safe uh, descent back I made sure I came over over land because if I didn't I was kind of worried that we might come in a bit fast with only one parachute since I had to attach one end of this to the parachute um, you know to the side itself but anyway after all of that we're back and uh, we've still got quite a few contracts to complete so I'll be completing those over the next few missions but this one went fairly well we got um, you know quite a lot of money I think we increased our budget for the next mission by 20,000 or so funds because we started off with like 20 something thousand and now we've got just about 40 something thousand so we're doing pretty well in that sense oh it's 30 35 thousand so you know we increased our funds enough anyway and uh, yeah hopefully we should be able to do some more contracts sometime soon. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you like the video. Sorry there's no like flashy editing or anything. Not much I can do about that. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.